Alright, this is. Is anyone missing the notes before I go too far? Okay. Okay. So, right here, I'm changing this how we did it yesterday, but from the previous video, it's the same. Alright, so there's a couple things that I need to start off with. Okay, this actually comes from the very first, uh, one of the first slides for tangent. It's right here. Okay, so for this information, so for this information right here, we have that my tangent is going to have a asymptote at bx equals negative pi over 2, where the b is that number I factored out. Remember, if there's an argument there, you factor it out. It's a number in front of the x. Yes? Okay, that's the number in front of the x. So that's what I'm changing here. And it also has another asymptote over here. bx equals positive pi over 2. So there's two of them. There's a negative pi over 2 and a positive pi over 2. Where cotangent has the same thing at 0 and at bx equals pi. So we're going to start by graphing our asymptotes first. Then you should have did it, not during this. Okay, so we have it here, we have it here. So now we're going to start by graphing the asymptotes first. So asymptote. Mm-hmm. All right. So from this, right here, we have y equals y equals negative 3 tangent 1 half x. Now, from this, we already know a couple things. Yeah, it's not even any worse than that, okay? So the first thing we're going to start off with, my asymptote is negative 3. Now, what is the b value here? 1 over 2, very good. It's the number in front of your x. So my b value is 1 half. So I'm going to need that number here in a minute. Let's do it. I'm going to need that number in a minute. So the next thing I'm going to go with is going to be okay, my period. All right, if you remembered yesterday, what is my period starting off with with tangent? Pi. Just pi, right? My period should be pi. So it should be pi equals 1 half x. Very good. Okay, it's always going to be this right here, right? So what would I do to both sides to get x by itself? Multiply by 2, right? Times by 2. Let's do that. So it's 2 pi equals x. So my period here is 2 pi. Now, the next thing, okay, this goes along with our parts, but it's going to be the next piece of this. So. It, it goes with parts, so we're going to do asymptotes first. So it's going to make this a whole lot easier. So I have asymptotes. At, it's going to be B. What is my B? So it's one half. So it's one half. X equals. Let's look. Let's go back and look. Negative, negative pi over 2, right? Yeah. That's where I'm getting this from. Negative pi over 2, right? 
Okay, what would it do to both sides? Divide by one over two, but it's easier to multiply by two, right? Yeah, I can multiply by two and the twos will cancel, right? So it's going to be, please fail. Negative pi, very good. Now let's do it again. So it's going to be <coughs> one half x equals positive pi over two. Multiply both sides by two. X is just pi. So those are my asymptotes. Now, reading this from left to right, reading it from left to right, my asymptotes, those are going to be the lines in which that it's not going to be able to touch. So my first one is going to be negative pi over 2. And then my second asymptote is pi. So I, I'm starting this at negative pi over 2. So I'm going to do it with my parts. So it's going to be my start, 1 quarter, 1 half, 3 quarters, and end. Notice the difference, right? Yes. So I replace the one with n and the zero with start, right? Yeah. Okay, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So my start is going to be negative pi. My end is going to be positive pi. Why? No, x. I said y. It's the x value. Okay, it's the x value. These are the asymptotes that I got. So everything is going to be between these asymptotes. Think of it as like a goal post. Everything is happening between these. Does that make a little bit better sense? Mm -hmm. so, hey. so it's always going to be whatever you get from your asymptotes that are starting in. Yeah, that's starting in. Because I'm just going to ask to graph it over one period. So if you are to graph it over a second period, it's going to just be this exact same thing again. But after this asymptote, I would have another asymptote, right? So I'm just going to keep having asymptotes in between. It's going to be the same shape. Same. Now, we're going to go through. Now, like I said, this is slightly different. So yesterday, I had you guys do it, and we had an asymptote right in the middle, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. OK, so it, it was more understandable if we actually put everything right in between the two asymptotes instead. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing this time. So let's take a look. I'm going to erase this right here because I know you already have it written down. Otherwise, you can go back and you know pause the video and rewrite it, right? Okay. So it's going to be next thing is going to give me my values that I have. So I'm going to end up with my x values. Okay. Right here. So it's going to be one quarter times period. Plus start. Okay, this is the formula for this. These are the steps. So, one quarter times a period plus start. So, my math would be one quarter times the period, which is plus the start, so it's a plus a negative pi, right? So this is going to give me pi over 2, right? Pi over 2 minus pi negative pi over 2. No. Please stop. Okay, so we have that value. 
Remember, this represents my x value, right? Mm -hmm. Let's do the next one. So it's going to be 1 half times 2 pi plus the negative pi. Last one, 3 quarters times 2 pi <coughs> plus my negative pi. pi over two. That's going to be what? Pi over 2. Pi over two. Okay, there we go. How about your end? Huh? How about your end? My what? Your end. That's where it's going to end. So this would be the... This would be the zero part, and this is the one part. I do start and end because those aren't going to be values. Those are going to be undefined because they're asymptotes. That's why. All right, so let's take a look. Wait, what is that number? Pi over 2. What's up three, four? What's that? Yeah, pi over 2. <laughs> Give me one second. All right, we're getting the y value out of this, so I'm going to plug it in so it's negative 3 tangent of 1 half times negative pi over 2. Because those are my x values. Remember, these are my x values. These are the y values. Now, do you guys have your unit circle out? Yeah. Okay, if you don't have it, please get that right now. So this is going to give me negative 3 tangent at negative pi over 4. that it started in the class was that the first time and like it no. just kept doing it no it, it was it's been doing it like, on like and off. The, yeah oh. um at the beginning of school it did it every single day like it turned on like second hour even with us you remember at, at oh, the beginning of school okay okay that's why so i i i've been all they do is just turn it off instead of fixing it they'll go turn it off they're like, oh no, it's okay. We'll just turn it off. <coughs> okay. So, listen. <laughs> I'm going to go over this now, and I need you guys paying attention because this is going to be the important part. Now, it says negative pi over 4, right? Yep. So, look to see. So, if we start here, this is my 0. So, if I go up pi over 4, it's going up this much, right? Yes. That's 1 pi over 4. So, now count backwards. It would be right here, right? Yeah. So would it negative pi over 4 be right here? Yeah. So you're going to give me the values for this. So tangent is going to be what? It's going to be y over x. Y over x. So the y value is? Uh, negative red 2 over 2. Divided by? Red 2 over 2. Okay, very good. Does that make sense? Yeah, it would be negative. Okay. Oh. Because I have the same values here, but it's one's a negative, the other one's a positive, right? Yes. So that's going to give me a negative 1, right? Yes. So then negative 1 times the negative 3. Yes. Positive, positive 3. 3. So I'm going to put a positive 3 right here. Yes. Whoop. All right. I'm about ready to change it up right now. Okay. So hurry up. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, go. Watch it. Negative three tangent one half zero. All right, what is one half times zero? Zero, right? Samaj, sit. Now, 
we know <laughs> zero on the unit circle. So Ten negative five. three and tangent, what is the y value at zero? zero. What is the x value? One. Zero divided by one <laughs> is? It's zero. Zero on the bottom is undefined. Zero on top is zero. Okay, think of it like this, pizza. So, there's one person there, he has zero pizzas. Is that divided evenly amongst that person? Yes, that is evenly, right? Now, if I were to flip it over, there's one person there. I'm sorry, one pizza there, but no person. So it's, it's, yeah, that's just a sin, right? A pizza with no one to eat it? So, that, if there's zero on the denominator, that is undefined. But this one right here is zero. Zero times negative three? Samaj, please stop. Okay, next one. Negative three, tangent, one half, pi, pi over two. So pi, positive pi over four. Okay, listen up. Please don't. <laughs> Negative three, tangent, so pi over four, y over x, so the y value is? Uh, over two, pi, two. Pi two over two. Divided by? Two over two. So this is gonna be a positive one times a negative three. So that's what we're getting at. So there's my one period right there. So, I'm going to start with drawing my line. Right here, here's my graph. Right there. Where's this start? Okay, so right here, I'm at negative pi, right? And where's it end? So here's my number line right here, right? Negative pi, positive pi. How high does it go up? How, how low? There we go. So this spot right here is going to be? Negative pi over 2. Very good. Zero. This one's going to be? Pi over 2. There we go. Yeah, this one is zero. Okay. All right. I'm going to start. Asymptotes here. So there's asymptotes here. Dotted line. There we go. Dotted line. There's my asymptotes. What? What? Oh, someone's gone. Let's put our points. So at negative pi over two, my number is what? At zero. zero pi over two. so good at graphing tangent yeah. and cotangent. <laughs> but that's it. <clears throat> it's not bad. It's, it's actually a this one's easier than what we did yesterday. Yeah. So, I'm going to give you guys time right now 
Work on these. It's 7 through 17. It's the same homework assignment as yesterday. 7 through 17. Please work on those. Okay?